man after my own heart. Let's go. Yeah, my first set was against Foe, and our first game was a Lucina Ditto. Obviously, he's, he's got his fundamentals down, so he can take full advantage of this character. I wonder if he's doing this just for fun or just because, you know, he likes the matchup better against Palutena than Ness. I can see Ness struggling off stage, especially, but this is what we're talking about. Oof. Oh, doesn't get the tech on there at that platform. He's gonna eat a big punish for it. Tries to get the jab lock, but man, we've seen his jab block's not that great. He wasn't able to get there in time. He was able to roll out of it. Ooh, that was a weird interchange. Exchange there. Ooh, almost took a back air to the face. Definitely would have been stock at 100%. But foe with stage control. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he went for the yellow forward smash. Might have actually killed at the ledge there. All right, a little bit more percent. And he's got him off stage now. This is where Lucina shines. Just kind of a face off there. Edgar takes advantage of the back throw. Oh, this is scary. How does he get back on edge? Oh, the run up of that killed at 90. Man, I'm so bad at using up smash though. I, <laughs> I have like either the worst luck, worst positioning, or what have you. But I always end up clipping the first hit, or it just misses completely. Even if they're like right above me. Oh, he goes for the up. He had a shield, but Edgar is able to shield it and get a punish of his own, and that's the stock. Edgar only taking 38% on the second stock so far. Relatively even. Both just kind of throwing out aerials at each other right now. Oh, here comes the Nair plane. Oh, good weight on the uh, the air dodge there, but doesn't capitalize. You guys are just slugging right now. Ooh, another ill-advised up out of shield there from Foe. Oh, nice parry on the last hit of the explosive flame there. Explosive flame's last hitbox is way bigger than the rest of it, so even if you're out of range initially, it will eventually catch up to you. Oh, wow. I think he tried a four, uh, Fo tried a forward air there and it extended his hurt box into the explosive flame. Or the nair, rather. <laughs> he's just going for these yellow uppies. And, man, it's, it's hurting him, though. He's about to take 40 plus percent. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of the scary thing about Palutena's nair, too. Regardless of what part of the move she hits you with it, it's going to drag you and then launch you in front of her. So even if you think you snuck behind her to get back to stage, it just puts you in the perfect position. Oh, about to get lapped in percent right now versus Edgar. Man, he's just swinging right now, but he's missing. I don't think he's landed a single one of these. Oh, I don't think he wanted that counter. If he did, it was just a very odd option to go for. There we go. We got a four smash landed. Oh my goodness, these techs. Two in a row. But the four tilt finally going to take it. And a little bit of a taunt from Foe. You'll love to see it. So he's down 100 plus percent, but he does have stage control. Never count out Foe. He's the best player in Vegas for a reason. Win box. But we've seen it so fast on the ground, able to just close that gap and then punish. I wonder if he went for a second counter there after countering the, the last hit of Explosive Flame. All right. You got a what? What's Slippy? Oh, is that the uh, the melee? Oh. I wish I had access to Meta Scouter. I don't know. Is if that you know like a program? Is. That it's, like it's pretty much the same thing like that is too. Gotcha. That's the one that has like the stats, like uh -huh. average kill percent and stuff. Oh, that thing is so dope. I, love I was trying stats. to. They, they, they were gonna let us use it during this New England the Three Houses tournament. We oh, played. really? Yeah, but we. I just forgot that. I literally forgot. I was like, no. Oh, Otherwise, man. we could use it every Yo, week if here. If we could get those stats here, that would be so dope. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll ask them. I'm a math nerd. I love looking at stats. Who are you telling me? <laughs> All right, so Foe is gonna switch to the tried and true here, and on FD makes sense. All right, coming out swinging here. Right now, Edgar's just struggling to get back to stage. It takes a cool 40%. And these are characters that can press a lot of buttons, too. So we're going to see them swing over and over.
for an over game throughout this game, especially on an uh, FD. No platforms to run and hide. Wow, I'm surprised Foe got to the ground in time to be able to block that explosive flame. <sighs> Shield pressure, though. And good SDI by Edgar just to get out of that uh, PK fire. Ooh, not a good trade for Foe there. He does not have a jump. Oh, no! The up air doesn't uh, fully connect. Gets a second one, though. Gives him back stage control. He does not have a jump, but he does have some help. Mm, this could be it. No. Oh, but the counter delays it. It slowed him up just enough to make sure, even though he didn't hit foe, it slowed down, or rather shortened the range of the PK Thunder 2. Oh, this could be scary. Man, Ness just goes so far with that directional air dodge. Such a good tool for him. Here come the early percent combos from Edgar. Got a jab combo. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we really wanted that PK fire. Ooh, that was a weird. Uh... Oh, you missed input there. I don't. I don't think Edgar meant to do that. Sitting at 96% though. Oh, and he holds down to go past the ledge and hit with PK Thunder too. Really smart option from Bo there, just to get Edgar off of him. Taking advantage of, uh, I believe he's completely intangible while he's moving with that move. So he basically just beats anything out for free. Oh my goodness, the pressure! And that PK Thunder is so ridiculous at the top of the stage. You can get killed from it. Oh, not able to catch him with the yo-yo. Edgar able to, to snap to ledge there, just barely. Oh, that's probably going to be death, yep. So Edgar up. Let's see what kind of extra credit he can get here before Foe's able to clean up this second stock. Not quite going to do it yet, but the yo-yo will finish the job. Dead even. Last stock, game two. Got the low percent combos. Ooh, that was a little weird. He doesn't have a jump. He doesn't have a jump. That was a really scary situation for Edgar. Mm. PK harassment continues. Oh my goodness. This next one will kill if he does not dodge it. No punish. No punish whatsoever. I hate to see it. Edgar just kind of stood there and now he's going to lose the game for it. So we are knotted up at one apiece here. He wouldn't have gotten a kill off of it. He was only at 50, but man, that was a golden opportunity to get stage control, rack up percent, and get him into kill range. He just kind of stood there, not sure what to do. All right, Town of City is going to be our game three stage coming at you. As expected, this is probably the character setup we're going to see for the rest of this set. Only thing that's going to change is the scenery. That was a Randy Ford smash. I'm not sure what Foe was looking for there. Maybe expecting the, uh, the auto reticle and was trying to maybe bat one back at him. You need to come commentate, Seals? You what? You're going to get stuck? I can move over. <laughs> you got banned from commentary? Ah. I believe it. <laughs> Ooh. That may kill. Yep, it will. That move is busting. Back throw from Ness. Again with the forward smash. I'm not sure what Foe's looking for there. I mean, he knows this character better than I do. That's for sure. Oh my goodness. The stock trade with the offstage combo. See, this is what I get for trying to question what he was going for. He knows exactly what he's doing. You really got to respect how willing to go off stage Foe is with Ness. A character that does not have the greatest recovery. He's just willing to risk it all. And that was an awesome trade for him since he was up a stock. It's suicide trade when you're up a stock. Oh my goodness, if that had reversed and actually caught him in the other direction, that would have been stock. 
Ooh, Fogan getting a little cute with it. That's not gonna kill. Oh, but the back air will take it. So Edgar, bring it back within respectable distance. One Nair combo, pretty much even this up. If he can get back to stage though, here comes the yo-yos. Was able to uh, escape that at 132 and climbing. I wonder why he doesn't go for counter there. Is it just too laggy and it gives Foe a chance to punish? Oh man, 36 of climbing though. And he's pretty much full rage for, for Edgar. Oh my goodness, that grab range. Look out, don't call it a comeback. That's not gonna kill. Bad position to be in and the rising back air. I like the early recovery from Edgar there, but Foe just covered it so perfectly. Maybe getting to ledge would have helped him, but then he's stuck on ledge against a Ness, so it's... Yeah, that's, that's rough. So Foe taking two in a row after the character switch here. One game away from sitting pretty in grand finals winner side. Let's see if Edgar has anybody he wants to try. No. As expected, we're sticking with the same character matchups we've had since game two. Did you get sword or shield, Navi? You got shield? Three, two, one, go! Ooh! Opening gambit. Edgar wins that exchange. He's already got him on ledge, but wasn't able to capitalize, get much else off of that. But here comes the foe combos. No, just kidding. Edgar able to get out of that. Squeaked out with the directional air dodge up. And he is without a jump now. Ooh, perfect coverage by Edgar, knowing that he didn't have a jump. That was the only way he could recover there. And this is looking like a complete turnaround for the last couple games. Ooh. All right, that, that was a bit of a, a bit of a, a hungry forward smash there. Wow. Foe stalling with the side magnet. Gets him, keeps him just above the back air. Is this death? Uh, wow, I cannot believe he didn't get hit by that PK Thunder. That looks for sure like basically a stop. But Edgar about to lap Foe in percents here. Foe wisely just taking the, the free health. And notice that Edgar held shield this that time. In the, I believe it was the first or second game, Foe held down to go past the ledge to clip him. So Edgar was ready for that option this time. So there it is again. Try to go for an aggressive option. Doesn't quite get punished and does get a stock, so three to one. Looks like we have our first game five set of the night out of one possible attempt. So first three out of five. Just piling up for Edgar now. He's on the ledge. Ooh, that's a scary situation. Yeah, that's it. But he's got two full fresh stocks to work with. Foe sitting at 41%. Palutena can rack that damage up quickly, but... Real time explosive flame will get him punished. Wow. Good spot dodge there from Edgar. Gets mad at that situation. Ooh. Oh, not able to get the punish on it. Shields the PK Fender too, but just trying an option that a little bit slower. Oh man, good option. Just miss space the walk off fair since and there is a little bit of time before Ness can get that Thunder all the way down below him to give him that boost. Well, if you time your offstage pursuit right, did that? Did he just kill with down tilt? All right, game five. Foe's definitely a top player. It's just the, the lack of travel. So he, he does all the big ones here in Vegas and usually does really well. Evo, of course. I still remember a couple years ago in Smash 4, he got top eight at Evo. That was fun. All right. Did they announce the Evo lineup yet for 2020? 
Yeah, I think so. Still a little ways away from that. All right, Paul's working on a little magic for the stream. I think we're good to go, though. So game five going to be on FD here. Yeah, I got it. I'll let the people know what's happening. Didn't miss much. Oh, gotcha. Pretty even so far for both players. Ooh. Well, it takes a little bit of an early lead. Side magnet combo gonna get him off. Oh man. He teleported just before that PK fire clipped him. Oh man, the back throw gonna take it. Unfortunate for Edgar being so close to the ledge there. But he will take this free damage from the jab combo. But, oh no, this you don't want you don't want to be down. 96. All right, so now he's in kill range with one good aerial, like a back air. Not quite yet, a little stale. He wanted to go for an option after waiting, but Fo was throwing out that forward air, so he just kind of had to retreat and take what he could get. Ooh, 64 climbing, though. He's got to clean up the stock right here. Ooh, narrowly dodges the grab. 153. Smart option there, Edgar. He didn't want to overextend, because again, Fo can just clip the, past the ledge by holding down. Just kind of backed up, waited for the option, and went for the punish. Stock's even. One good Nair combo away from uh, evening it up. Okay, maybe two combos I lied. Ooh, with the spike. Oh, got clipped by the last hit. There it is. Unfortunately, that time, not going to squeak past it. Wow, the shield stun and the, the, the knockback from the back air got him just out of Nessa's grab range, but that's going to do it. 60% though, definitely doable. Not out of the woods yet. He's got him on the edge too. That's always a great position to have Ness. Don't give him any stage control. Great job keeping this last stock fresh though. He hasn't been touched in a good minute now. Playing very patient. Oh, with the grab. Can you get him off stage? And probably some more percent. No, but Fo misses on the... This. Oh, is that going to be back here? No. Fo DI's out. But is that going to do it? Not quite. He doesn't have an air dodge, and now he doesn't have a jump either. Oh, man. Edgar not quite able to capitalize on that, though. Luckily for Edgar, he was not ready to jab lock that there. That basically could have been the set. Pretty sure a jab, jab, forward smash would have killed. And that's going to do it. Evened up. Edgar is 64%. Really, really close. Final game here in Winners Finals. Oh, clipped again by that last hit. Oh, no, we got clipped by the PK Thunder. And just bounces off the ledge. What a sad way to end. Such an exciting close set. Oh man, you hate to see it. Good stuff to Edgar though, taking foe to game five. A feat I probably will never be able to do in my life. Man, it was just this close.